During this short how-to video on how to analyse a manual band quantification using gene tools analysis software, you will be shown how to 1. Use the sample properties box 2. Draw boxes around bands 3. Add quantities 4. Export to Microsoft Excel and Word When you open gene tool software from the icon on the desktop, you will see the username pop-up box. Select the name from the drop down list and press OK. You can also send images directly to Gene Tools from Genesis Image Capture Software using the Gene Tools icon. In Gene Tools Software, you can analyse SUD and TIFF file formats. We recommend that the SUD file format is used as this file type contains the raw data. To open an SUD file, select the open icon. and browse for the image you wish to analyse. If using the TIFF file format, select File, New Import, and browse for the image you wish to analyse. From the sample properties box, use the drop down menu to select the analysis type. For example, manual band quantification. Gene tools should automatically detect the image type as fluorescence or absorption. Fluorescence is when you have white bands on a dark background, and absorption is when you have black bands on a white background. Press OK to close the dialog box. The sample will be opened in the spot block manual band quantification window. When Gene Tools analyses a manual band quantification image, it takes measurements from defined areas on the sample called boxes. You can place rectangular or circular or freehand boxes on the sample. To draw a rectangular box over a band, select the position any spot to unlock the sample for changing boxes. Choose rectangle and move the mouse pointer to the position where you want to draw the top left hand corner of the box. Press the mouse button and drag to the bottom right hand corner of the box. Release the mouse button to place the new box on the sample. The box will be labelled with a number showing the order in which the box is added. It will have drag handles at its corners to adjust the shape if needed. To add a rectangular box of the same size as another box, select the box you want to copy, move to the point you want to place at the centre of the new box and double click. A new box with the same size as the selected one, will be added at the point you double clicked. To remove a box, click the box to select it. Either choose Delete. or press delete. To assign a quantity to a box to calibrate quantity measurements for other boxes, click the box you want to assign a quantity. Choose assign quantity. From the pop-up box, enter the known quantity for the box in the calibrated quantity box. Calibrated box will be marked with a cross. You can also select the shape of the calibration curve by selecting the quantity calibration icon. 
From the pop-up window, select the curve type from the drop-down menu. Choose from linear through origin single standard value, linear multiple standard values, linear through origin multiple standard values, quadratic and quadratic through origin. If you select linear through the origin single standard value, the calibration curve is drawn through the origin and the last calibration point you have added. Since it's a single point calibration, adding a new calibration point replaces the previous one. For other types of curve, the calibration curve is drawn as the best fit for all the relevant calibration points. Adding a new calibration point contributes to and does not replace the calibration from any previous points. To apply a background correction, choose the background correction icon. From the drop down menu, choose from non, automatic, or manual. If you select automatic background correction, the software will calculate the background levels. If selected manual, then use the mouse to draw rectangles around the areas of background you wish to include. All results are shown in the results table in the bottom pane of the manual band quantification window. You can easily export your data to Microsoft Word as a report. Or to Microsoft Excel. You can also highlight the results table or areas of the results table and copy and paste to Excel.